Hello and welcome. I'm going to talk to you today about a very important uh, HR metric. It's called the Compa Ratio. The Compa Ratio measures how competitive an individual's salary is against the reference point of interest. This reference point of interest could be the midpoint of your of a grade within your internal pay structure. Uh, as an example, this is what an internal pay structure looks like. Look, looks like. Or it could be against an external market reference point. Uh, for example, the 50th percentile or the median of the market, the 75th percentile or the upper quarter of the market. Those are normally the reference point that are used in calculating the comparison. It's a very important metric, and I will show you how to calculate the comparison, and I'll also show you what it means when you are using the compa ratio. The compa ratio range is 80 to 120%. That is the ideal range considered uh, uh, by professionals who are in the field of compensation. When someone is paid at around 100% compa ratio, regardless of the reference point, it means that person is paid competitively or on target uh, uh, with regards to your target reference point. Those paid above 100% compa ratio are considered to be paid extremely competitively, and those below 100% are considered less uh, to be paid less competitively. And there are reasons why people would be paid above uh, the 100% compa ratio or below. Some of the reasons for people to be paid below the 100% compa ratio uh, are like uh, someone is new in a job and the organization is not willing to pay a premium for that person. The premium in this case is the 100% compa ratio uh, until the person can prove themselves that they can actually deliver. In some cases, there are people who are paid below the 100% comp compa ratio because they are new, they are still learning the job, they are new in a job. Then those that are paid above the 100% the compa ratio, the assumption is that uh, these individuals consistently perform above the requirements of the job. And those that are paid very close to 120% compa ratio are considered to be rare talent within the organization in terms of the value addition to the organization. And that's why uh, we use this range. So let's now go to the formula for calculating the compa ratio. The formula is here. The compa ratio, when you are calculating the compa ratio, uh, comparison is equals to individual salary divided by the target reference point of interest. Again, repeating what I said, it could be your midpoint of your internal grade or an external reference point, which could be any of your chosen market uh, uh, reference point, 50th percentile or median or 75th percentile. So that's the formula for calculating, easy formula for calculating. Okay. So the compa ratio generally is a control mechanism for making sure that we pay people according to their contribution most of the time or according to their value also to the organization. Remember, most of the salaries are grade best. So let's look at our first example in, in terms of calculating the compa ratio. We are looking at uh, uh, analyzing salaries in reference to the midpoint of the internal pay structure. So we've got names there. We've got the job titles, we've got the grades, we've got the current salary, we've got the grade midpoint, we've got the grade uh, 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 compa ratio already calculated there, but I will delete it so that I show you how to do it. But before I do that, let me come back to this pay structure so that you understand what is a pay structure. Because the compa ratio, you can't talk about the compa ratio without understanding a pay structure, especially when you're referencing internally. So a, comp a, a, a pay structure will have a, a list of grades, then a minimum salary, a midpoint salary. This midpoint salary is normally what is referred to in a pay structure as the pay spine. It's a reflection of a competitive position, a, a competitive market position that the organization would have chosen. Then the maximum salary for that grade. So, so if you look here, you have uh, the difference between the maximum and the minimum is what is called the pay range. This is the, the pay range. Okay, then the percentage difference between the midpoints of adjacent grades is called the pay progression. This is the pay progression here. Okay, 
The process of calculating all these is actually covered in another video or on, 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 on pay structuring. But today we are focusing on the comparison. Let's go back to, to this table, uh, the internal table. We have got these names, the job titles, the grades, the current salaries of the individuals, the midpoint salaries for, for the same individuals based on their grade. I used the VLOOKUP here to look for the, for, for the midpoints from here. So as, just as an example, if you go to uh, Nicholas Jonathan, the finance manager, they're in grade four, uh, the current salary is 11,000, their midpoint salary is, uh, for the grade is 8,544. Uh, for, if you go here, you will see this is 8,544 uh, here. Uh, so automatically, that's the beauty of using some of the formulas in Excel. So automatically you get, you get there. So if we go back to our formula for calculating the, the comparison, it's equals to individual salary, which is this one, divided by the midpoint of the grade, which is already uh, 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 put in that particular cell. So we enter. Uh, the next thing, you just copy down here, like this, we are done. Let's go back to the interpretation of those results. You can see here that uh, there are two people who are paid uh, below the, 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 be, below the midpoint, be, below the 100% the copper ratio, as already explained. Then the rest of the employees, these ones are already paid uh, above uh, the the compa the the hundred percent compa ratio. Okay, so if I were to interpret this, I would say these people are really paid competitively. Those that I have highlighted in green and these in yellow are paid less competitively, but there could be reasons. Some of the reasons could be uh, uh, that the person is new, as already explained, or they are a poor performer, or many other reasons can be given. Uh, but you need to be careful that you are not overpaying those those in green you also need to investigate to see that these people who are paid above 100 percent compa ratio they need to be consistent good performance they need to be the skills that are in high demand and adding value to the organization anything less than that is basically you're shortchanging your organization you're basically paying pay more paying more money for less value uh, if you if you were to do that so that's how you interpret the compa ratio using the first example we go to the second example. In this second example, we are now looking at uh, calculating the compare ratio using the market uh, at a target uh, reference point of interest. In this case, we are using the median year. The same people, the names are the same, the job titles are the same, the grades are the same, the current salary is the same. What has changed is that it will be after a salary survey that we then input these figures. So after inputting those figures, I will delete this for now. Uh, uh, I will delete these uh, figures for now and start calculating again and say individual salary, which is there in that cell, divided the market median uh, to get our compa ratio in percentage. And you go down here. You see, I, I want to remove the red there uh, so that we empty that cell, those cells. So you can see I will highlight here in red those that are way, way paid be outside the normal range of the compa ratio. Those are problematic. There could be a problem there. But remember, this time around, we are comparing to the market. So all these that I'm highlighting in red are paid way, way below the 80% minimum compa ratio. That is ideal. Uh, you can see there, which means for these people, we are less competitive. We are probably already losing people in those grades uh, because of uh, we are less competitive compared to our target market, uh, external market for, 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 for staff. Then these that are paid above that I will highlight in, uh, in green, uh, light green, uh, that are paid above. Uh, the 100% the compa ratio. These ones, you also need to, to find out are they good performance? Because there's no point in you paying a, a, a competitive or a premium salary for people who are not giving you value or who are not giving value to the organization. So all these are investigations that you can, you can do. There will be a reason for why some people are above, the, outside the normal range of 80 to 120%. There will be a reason why some people are paid within the range and things like that. But ideally, if you are managing your compensation or your remuneration properly, all your employees must work within the 80 to 100 percent, 120 compa ratio. If you are managing the pay structure uh, properly, that's exactly what we expect. Whether you're comparing to the external market or you're comparing internal, that's the range that we we expect you to to find. If you're finding, for example, that now we are there are some roles that are at 138 percent compa ratio, 
Uh, they could be, yes, you may be overpaying those people, uh, maybe you overpay them without looking at the market. These are all examples, but you can go deeper and analyze. And I hope this video is very useful to you. I will share more videos uh, on pay structuring and calculating pay, uh, pay compression and salary range. Thank you.